what's happening on Our Life in Film? It's the cool, it's Thursday, and it's time for a video. So this week on Our Life in Film is rant week, so we're pretty much just gonna rant about a bunch of different things that may piss us off, or that we just wanna talk about and get off our chest. I don't know. It's whatever you wanna do with it, but we're ranting this week. And since I'm moving into college today, I figured it would be fitting, I'm gonna rant about packing and moving and all that fun stuff. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is packing. I don't know whose idea this was in the first place. My room is a total mess right now because I have got stuff everywhere. It's so hard, especially when you're moving to college. This is specifically gonna be for moving to college because you're taking your entire life and packing it so that you can fit in half of a tiny dorm room. And it's so, it is so hard. Unless you've actually gone through this, you have no idea how hard this is. Probably packing for the past two weeks, trying to think of what do I need to bring? What am I forgetting? Where does this need to go? Should I bring this? Are we gonna have room for that? Crap, I'm forgetting this. I need to go back to the store. Oh God, I don't know what I'm even doing. It's stressful. It is very stressful. <laughs> it also sucks depending on how far away you're moving because my sister moved 15 minutes away when she left for college. So if she forgot something, she could just drive back and come and get it because she had her car too because of cross country and all that fun shit. I am two and a half hours away and I don't have a car. If I forget something, I have to wait till like Thanksgiving break when, if I come home to come and bring it back. And then it's stressful for college because you have to coordinate with your roommate and if you don't know them, that could be really awkward. I know Emma, so we're fine coordinating. Like we're like, oh, we're both gonna bring this. I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna bring this. Okay, we've got that worked out. If you don't know your roommate, that's so freaking awkward. You're like, Sh are you gonna? Are we both bringing many fridges? Uh, is there room for me? Um, who's? Uh, are we gonna have a TV? Who's gonna? Who's gonna bring the TV? Okay, okay. So I'm gonna bring everything, because, okay. That works. And then you're at the store because you have to buy all of your stuff for your dorm and your school supplies and food. Saturday I was at the grocery store because I went with my parents because I was like if I want to bring stuff like food to college with me, I need to be there to pick out what I want. I don't know where I'm putting any of this food. <laughs> I got so much food and I don't know what to do with it. I feel like I'm not going to have any room for it. I got a lot of food and then when we go up there. We have to find the target there because we need to do more grocery shopping and get like milk and orange juice and butter and bread and all that fun stuff. But I'm like, there's so much food. Oh my god. <laughs> Last minute scramble. I'm trying to make sure everything's together. Make sure I have all of my chargers, all of my electronics, all of the batteries, all of the cords, all of the clothes, all of the underwears and socks and nail polishes and books that I want to bring and posters which I still need to roll up and figure out how I'm going to put them somewhere so they don't get bent. I need to make sure I've got all of my cards, like my license and my my student ID card, hair dryer, straightener, shampoo, stuff that you would not think about, I need to think about right now. Our dorm, we've got our room, a bathroom, and then another room, so it's four people in one bathroom, and they come in. There's a person, a little cleaning person, that will come in and clean your bathroom once a week, which is fantastic, because I don't want to do that. And we're assuming that toilet paper is just given to us by the toilet paper gods. Because we don't know, and <laughs> we were debating whether or not we should buy some, but we didn't, because we're just assuming that the toilet paper gods will smile upon our dorm and just give us loads of toilet paper and paper towels. God, please, paper towels, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be spilling everywhere. You get to the actual moving, which is going to be even more stressful, which I'm experiencing right now as you're watching this. You have to fit everything in a car, and then you have to drive that car, and then if you're like halfway there and you're like, oh, shit, I forgot this bag, hmm, that sucks. Guess you're going to be living without toothpaste for a month. I am on the third floor. There are stairs. I don't want to lock up three flights of stairs with this Double bed. You wanna see this double bag? It's full of my clothes! <gasps> Literally all of my clothes fit in one giant double bag. That's kind of upsetting. Like I'm really lightheaded. Holy shit. I'm not gonna make it up these three flights of stairs. I just got lightheaded from lifting that. We have to move everything, multiple trips, up three flights of stairs, and then we have to find homes for it all in this tiny little room, which again is going to be stressful because it's also going to be a lot of people in one small room because it's going to be me, Emma, my parents, my sister, 
Emma's parents, her brother, everyone. There's gonna be like 16 people in a dorm room that's like a five by five square. I don't know what to make of that. Basically, this entire process is just extremely stressful. The only thing that makes it fun is when you're packing and you can do like a little mini dance party like while you're packing because you've got like the music blaring and everything. That is the best part. I bought bedding from the school, or I bought a whole thing, and it comes with like your comforter and your sheets and bath towels and an under the bed organizer thing. And it came with a hamper, but the hamper is very see-through. Everyone is gonna see my underwear as I walk down three flights of stairs and then actually four flights of stairs because the laundry room is in some creepy ass basement. It seriously looks like a fucking mental ward down there. It's terrifying. It's like white walls with like brick white brick and it's like this really long creepy hallway that you have to like turn down a bunch of times and then you get to the laundry room and it's just this like giant creepy white room with like pipes on the ceiling with like washers and dryers. I don't want to go down there at night. I'm doing my laundry at like high noon. There's no demons down there then. Obviously. Because you know I don't watch like American Horror Story or Supernatural or anything that could prove that otherwise. Not at all. No. And then after you move in, you have to worry about actual school. Which I'm not looking forward to. Alright, well, there's my ranting for you about packing and moving and college and I like how I start censoring myself now. Like, that one video when I was swearing a lot. Didn't censor myself at all, and now I'm actually using bleeps. Piss. This is not a swear word. Maybe it is. Alright, so that's it for my video this week. Next time you see me, um, I will be in a different room, which will not have all of this behind me, but hopefully we'll have posters and stuff because I'm bringing posters. I will see you guys next week with a new video in a new location, and hopefully I won't be having some sort of psychotic mental breakdown. Alright guys, I will see you then. Stay classy, stay beautiful, and stay awesome, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.